Heather from Painted World Fiber Arts and today is my fall time fun time video which is pretty much some crocheted objects that I crocheted up that I really like for fall and I thought that since Thanksgiving is going to be here like tomorrow since today is Wednesday when I'm filming this and today before Thanksgiving that I should show off my fall objects finally and I know it's the end of the fall and we're getting ready for Christmas and it's almost all winter if you're watching this around that time of year and I just thought it'd be fun to just show off some of my fall crocheted objects that I made and um, maybe if you want to crochet them up you could really crochet them up really fast before Thanksgiving if you have time or you could just make them for next year or you could just make them any time of the year because all you have to do is just change the colors and instead of having fall colors you get Christmas colors and so forth. Um, Anyways, that's what I like about all of these little things that I did. They're, they're for pretty much any time of the year, but I just think about fall and I think about these things. Well, the first thing I'm showing is these cute little leaves. I like leaves and I like the colors they change in the fall. I know most of them have fallen throughout the U.S. out here in Cali. We don't really get the full blown um, leaf changing thing and leaves all over the place. We still get leaves and some changing but it's not like in more colder climates that have those kind of trees. <laughs> so out here in SoCal we don't really have that but I know in Northern Cal they do have that. So um, but I really miss leaves and I love leaves and the colors that they are and I know that's more like an October thing than a November thing but I still like leaves all year round. I like the colors they are. I like them when they're green. I like them when they're rainbow. I like them every color. So, and this is a crochet thing that you can make. Just change the color up and it could be spring leaves, you know? And so forth. You can make all year round. That's what I like about these. Um, pretty much, they're crocheted in the round with, increase de with increases. And then you go around and you make, um, first you start off with like single crochets. Then you do singles and doubles and triples and even I think it's called a, I don't know, it's like a, the four triple, <laughs> it's crazy. But you do all of that and you do slip stitches and you do all around and you make all these little points and so forth. It's a happy berry pattern and I will be posting the patterns all down below as well as in my block. Um, and these are some cool little leaves that I really like. I did one in rainbow sparkly color which it, the yarn is Expression Fibers and this is a sparkly silk um, silk, uh, and, um, what's the other fire? Oh yeah, silk and wool blend. Sorry about that, I brief for a minute. That my lovely kitties brought me a bag full of sparkly lard and I've just been crocheting with it ever since. Um, I was crocheting with it before I had plans for it, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. I just rolled it up as I want to use it now. And the funny part is it's called, um, smoothie. <laughs> I think it's called, like, tropical smoothie. There you go. But this is nothing to do with smoothie, they're just leaves. <laughs> and then this one is in her, um, this one is Sport DK Silk, um, and it's wool blend. This one is her Dewey DK, which is Expression Fiber Arts as well. Both of these are hand dyed by, by her, um, or her people or whatever. And this one's in Grapefruit, and it is a silk, um, silk and wool and um yeah silk wool nylon blend yarn and it's in her DK weight and it's really fun to use and super fuzzy and soft and this is super fuss, so fuzzy and soft too really like it and oh yeah and then this one also has Stellina which is the beautiful sparkles all right and then these you saw my October one well, I decided to, instead of making them quiet for November, I decided, instead of quiet, Abby Garabi, happy faced, I decided to make ones without faces. And I didn't just make one, I didn't just make two, I made three. All different colors. I love pumpkins, I could see them all year round. I think they make yummy desserts, they make yummy regular food. They make. They're just awesome. I love pumpkins and you'll be seeing a lot more pumpkins made by me. And these are, um, 
like a, they're made the same way as these were and it's by it's a happy june pattern i think or june i, I don't know <laughs> happy dude i don't know <laughs> remember her name always but she um i'll be posting her pattern down below as well as this one as well as the leaves for happy berries leaves and pretty much you uh, work in the back loop you do single crochets and you do half doubles and you work along a certain bad number which is the width then you work it all the way down then you connect it with slip stitch then you sew the bottom to shut it so that way no stuffing comes out then you shut the top same way whip stitch and then for the top which is pretty much um, single crochets around and around until you get the length that you want or the length that she recommends and then you do um, single crochet and slip stitch all the way around so it makes five little points and she explains how to do that in her pattern and then voila you got a cute little step and you get a cute little top this is paint box yarn up here this is their DK weight which is a hundred percent cotton then this is more of that beautiful silk sparkly yarn that is in tropical smoothie from expression fiber arts which is silk wool and silk wool blend sport weight and Stellina for sparkles. I love this yarn so much. It's so soft and beautiful. And that's a sport weight. This one is uh, made with uh, Paybox Yarns, 100% um, cotton yarn, DK weight. And this one is also made in their DK weight. This one's like their peach color. I forget the name of it. It will be down below. All the name, all the the, just the name of the yarn. No, I mean not down below. It'll be in my blog. Sorry, <laughs> more about the yarn. But the links to this pattern will be down below. And then the top is also made with their, with Paybox yarn, hundred percent, um, cut yarn DK, um, and it is. I think this one is just uh, some kind. Of, it's one of their dark navy blues. And the same thing, this one is made actually with um, Sweet Gigi's Contona yarn, 100% cotton yarn. Since I like to use yarn scraps, it's always random what I pick up sometimes. <laughs> Unless somebody requests it, then I will totally make it the way they want it. Um, this is Sweet Gigi's Contona yarn, which is like a merchandise cotton, cotton yarn, 100% cotton. It's in between like not quite a sport or decayed it's not quite a fingering it's like in between all it's like a blend of all those weight wise and it's super pretty sparkly shiny and I love it and then this is made with expression fiber yarn it is horror cashmere silk um si silk wool blend yarn and it is a beautiful soft finger weight sock yarn then I got this cute little kit from Crochet, Club Crochet, in this cute little box. It came with all these little, these are the extras I didn't use, because I decided to do non-pipe cleaner for the legs. Um, this is how it's supposed to look. And it's called Tommy the Turkey Pattern, and it's made by Lewis and Loops. And you can get the pattern on Crochet Club. You can see that. I will put the link down below and I'll link over to his um, YouTube page and his crochet club so you can find out more info about it. But pretty much it's a club that comes once a month. It comes with all the yarn you want to make a little mini amigurami. And it comes with everything but the crochet hook and needle. It comes with stuffing. It even came with the eyes and it came with any little parts like this. He suggested pipe cleaners for legs but I made different feet. Um, and it comes with all the yarn, and it's working out good so far. Um, I do have one comment. The yarn is not as fun to play with as regular yarn in my stash, but um, it does make you a really cute amigurami after all. But I think personally, I would rather pick out my own yarn and do it, because, or get, uh, uh or maybe in the future he'll he'll have a little better yarn because this is like one of his first rounds of he just started doing this club but I think this is personally what maybe he uses I don't know what determines what kind of yarn if he chooses but personally this yarn isn't the greatest to make amigurami's with I think it's something like um 
peaches and cream maybe or something of that sort that you can get at Walmart and for like a dollar at least out here in California and it makes great dish scrubbies I like it for dish scrubbies I like it for other things but when it comes to amigurami's it's kind of a, not the funnest yarn to work with um, because I like working with smaller hooks than a g-hook but if I was a beginner this would be excellent, excellent yarn to work with, so no complaints out spice, but personal choice, that's just a personal thing. I'm not dissing him, I'm not dissing the yarn, I'm just saying personally that's just how I feel. <laughs> I was trying to think of a nice way of saying it without coming across bad, sorry if I came across really bad everyone. I'm trying not to sound like a yarn snob because I'm not, and I do crochet with whatever yarn I get. And I am happy, and I love the kit, and I think he's an amazing designer. I'm just saying, personally, that yarn was real difficult for me to play with. Um, but I did create Tommy the turkey! I already made his friend Ton out of my DK, which is Paintbox DK yarn. And that's 100% cotton yarn that is that was in my stash. And these are 6mm eyes from 660 eyes. I do give Lewis... It loops real good cut. He has made the best stuffing I've ever touched, ever. I don't know what brand that is. I wish I knew, because I would stock up on that. Um, and the best safety. These eyes were better than 6060 eyes, I hate to say it. I bet they were just some, uh, some craster eyes. I don't know where he gets his eyes from. But these 6 milliliter eyes were the best 6 milliliter eyes I've ever, ever worked with. Um, I wish I knew the brand. I would stock up on them and highly recommend them, but 6060 eyes is the next best thing. Um, and then as for stuffing, the stuffing was so fluffy, so soft. Oh my gosh, it made my bird stand up nice. Uh, I mean, turkey, sorry, <laughs> turkey stand up and it made him so happy. Um, although the yarn was a little difficult to play with, it was super fun. I love it. I highly recommend people to buy the kit, but, um... Just if that's not your kind of yarn, um, then just go over to his other kits, uh, I mean other yarn club's choices, and you can just pick out the pattern, and you can be very, very happy with the pattern and making it with your own stash. Which, it depends on what happens with the next kit I get, depends if I keep this as the getting the yarn and everything or just the patterns either or I'm still a crochet member of his because I really like his patterns a lot they are so adorable he has a chef one. Oh my gosh it's like Mario chef <laughs> style I am going to be making that and he has Mario's that I want to buy from him oh my gosh I love his patterns and he was the one that made all those cute little amigurami Halloween patterns and my other one yeah he's awesome <laughs> anyways this little um and no, me and him are buddy buddies or anything, just so you know. I just say it, I love his patterns. <laughs> um, anyways, um, these are two very cute turkeys. And depending what kind of yarn and color she is, each time they look a little different, which I like about it too. Like, he had, in one of his videos, he had three different ones, three, one, three of them that he made, and each one, it's kind of pretty much identical but they each were unique in their own way I felt. That's what I love about his patterns. They're so cute and adorable. Like he had two different ways to make the chef. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, so Tom, Tom, Tommy the Turkey Pattern by Lewis and Lips. And that will be down below. And pretty much, um, he has a good, really good video on how to do this, but pretty much it is increase, decrease, all the way around, single crochets, you make the little, you make all, make the head, sorry, um, just, um, with no decrease, just, uh, single crochets around and around, and then you make the nose, and you make the little thing, and you sew that all together, put the eyes in, then you make, and you make the wings, and you make the, um, feathers in the back, and then you make the feet as well, which I, instead of using pipe cleaners, I just did crochet in the round, single crochets, I know I've told this pattern once before, um, info on it, so sorry if I'm repeating myself. And then I did um, chain out, and then I did single crochet, then I did slip stitch, and I did it three times, and I did a round, so I like what I did for my owls. Um, and then I made him a sitting turkey instead of a standing one, just like this one. 
and then I connected everything together. Um, after I made all that, I made the body, which is increased, decreased all the way around single crochets, and then I connected the head to the body, and st but first put stuffing in it. But before you do all that, you need to connect everything from the wings to the feet to the head parts, like I was saying, because if you do that afterwards, it's a little more difficult to connect everything, I found out, and that's one neat little trick I've learned from making amigurami's and watching people like Lewis and Loops. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so those were my two little turkeys that I made. And it's the Tommy the turkey pattern, like I just said. Um, I even know I made one of mine, Ton, and the other one was Tommy. Daisy, no, you're not gonna eat that. Sorry, Daisy was sorry, thinking that this was real pie or something. <laughs> and they like pumpkin and it's in their kitty diet for when they get tummy aches. So that's why they just are. And they like yarn and they like all that. So they hear the word pumpkin and their ears perk up. Anyways, so I made a slice of pie with this cute little happy face and whipped cream and bottom. And pretty much you create it as like a fat lap piece and then you add the edges and they're all single crochets increasing and decrease to make a triangle then you do the edges in the back loop which is just single crochets going around to make the height then you put the eyes and the lips on then you crochet the bottom which you connect starting from the back end here you make the back piece you crochet then you do a back back loop piece so that way it wraps around the, the pie crust does. Then you make a triangle, increase decreases, single crochets all the way down. Then you stitch it all together. Then you put this on. You can put the root cream on before or you can put the root cream on after. The root cream is pretty much increase, I mean not increase, um, single crochets all in the round. Then you do this cute little like um, I think it's a double crochet, single crochet thing with chain and then you stitch it all together. It looks like a like snowflake flower looking thing and then you sew it together and poof, you make a little pouch and voila, you got whipped cream. Then you connect that and you make the crust or the last and stuff it and voila, you got a slice of pie. Pumpkin pie! I want to make other flavors and it's so cute! I love it! I love it! I love it! I love it. And the other side is that face. <laughs> First I'm like, this is way too big, but the more I touched it, the more I was like, oh I love it. And it would make a great stress ball too. Oh yeah. And if you be thinking about some yummy sweets and, and relaxing things, oh yeah. Sorry, <laughs> the cat was being crazy, trying to push me off the couch and the toys. I mean, not the toys, the crocheted things, which are like stuffed toys. Anyway, so I didn't just make one pie, I made two pies. I made one with a happy face and whipped cream and more traditional looking. And then I made the other one with rainbow whipped cream and multicolored top and no happy face and chocolate looking bottom. And they both are pumpkin pies, designed by the same person, uh, is the pattern, and I crocheted them. And I made this one with the whipped cream that I used for this, which is just the single crochets in the round, and then you create a slip stitch, and you use, I think it was double crochets and single crochets and slip stitch all the way around, and then you sew it together and poof, you get whipped cream. This one was a little more like single crochets and um, slip stitch and doubles and so forth and you sew it together and you do some other stuff and then voila you got whipped cream and then you make a little chain out and you get a little top thing but then I sewed it down because it looked kind of funky and they are made though the same except for this one I put a little um, wooden hard thing instead of cardboard or plastic like it recommended. In the bottom, this one, I put nothing. I thought it was a little too puffy, so that's why I did that. I say definitely listen to that, so that way it stands up a little better. Pretty much it is increase, um, 
single crochets in the round increases. Then you work in the back loop so that way you have that nice little flat piece so you have a nice flat piece of pie. Um, then, I mean, yeah, whole pie. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then you do single crochets in the round all the way around. Then you work in the, um, then you work in the, like, um, the, um, I think it's the, oh yeah, you work in the, in the, do a single crochet in the round, and then you do, um, a cool little crest. You can change the color, like I did here, and make it, like, a lighter brown, or you keep it the same, like I did, because I was chocolate inside of a chocolate color pan, is what I was going for. This one, I was going for a silver pan with the regular pie crust flavor. Um, and so forth, and... Um, pretty much you do, I think these are half doubles, and you do it like five or six of them, and slip stitch all the way around, and then you create your crust. Then, but the first, before you do all that, you have to do your single crochets. Increases all the way in the round. Once you get the size of the pie, that's when you do the edge. Then you connect it all to your pan and stuff it and by sewing it and then you have a little opening stuff it voila you could put a nice little central of some pumpkin pie spice like she suggested in her pattern but I didn't want to do that because I thought if it loses flavor then it has this stuff in there like mm, that's just a little weird I don't want it to smell I'm not looking for it to smell my room up like pie I just want the object <laughs> anyways um, and then I made mine kawaii style if you want to do that you put the safety eyes and the lips on before you stuff it and so forth and she showed it as kawaii style as well as just like I did with the little cute happy amigurami face and she is an amazing amigurami maker she makes like <laughs> people she does famous people she's awesome I love this pattern and I always forget her name but she will be linked down below as well as in my blog all these patterns will be all linked uh, link down below and in my blog. I hope you enjoyed this Thanksgiving episode. Sorry about going on and on about loops and loops. I just get really excited when I talk about yarn designers that I really like and just like get excited about yarn a lot so sorry if you don't like that kind of stuff going on with me but that's just who and what I am and I just get a little too excited sometimes. Sorry about all that and um uh, please um Hit the like button if you like this video. Um, please subscribe to me on this channel so I can make more videos for you. That just videos like this, but my other videos. Um, please join me on my podcast every Monday and Fridays. Mondays in our PJs. Fridays is late nights. Um, please watch um, all my other yarn, uh, all my other <laughs> yarn loving videos as well as my other random videos that appear. Um, I hope you have. A great rest of the day, night, afternoon, no matter where you are from. Um, please subscribe to me on my social, on all my social medias, which is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Blog Loving, as well as please um, go to my blog and come check me out. It is https dot dot slash slash um, painterworld fiber arts um, dot com. And then if you would like to email me, you can. It is painted world fiber arts at gmail.com. You can also um, please visit my Etsy shop, online shop. Please visit my online store. Um, I really would love it if you helped support me and buy some really cool crochet eye bricks made by me. Or if you want anything custom made, let me know and I can crochet it up for you, most likely. Um, and my Etsy shop is at http um, s I mean, sorry. <laughs> http dot dot slash slash www dot etsy dot com slash shop slash paint to real fiber arts and I'm paint to real fiber arts if you want to just type that in instead of writing the long thing and bam it'll pop up on Etsy uh, so that will be linked down below all these things are linked down below um and um, what else? Uh, and I think I got it all. So like I was saying, have a great rest of the day, night, afternoon, no matter where you're from. And have a happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the U.S. And if you are not here in the U.S., have a happy fall and have a great rest of the fall. Like a, for everybody, not just <laughs> the people that aren't in the U.S. Um, and 
Thank you so much for watching all my videos. Bye-bye!